guys this is latrice and mia with mommy and me critique and today we're going to be talking about mimi's caribbean food caribbean <laughs> okay in fedville arkansas and so today um we're going to talk about this so we've known the owner for a while and she has finally got a front uh storefront and so kind of excited about that um so we wanted to do a review for her today um let her know um and then to get the word out that she's out there now and if she has a place and a location for such delicious food <laughs> so what did we get we got the same thing they don't know what we got. <laughs> okra. We both got, not okra, I mean oxtail. I guess I want okra. We both got oxtail, um, veggies, mac and cheese, fried pies, and this drink called Sorel, which is really good if you make a popsicle out of. Mm. Those are so good. Yeah, they work good. Yeah, um. Yeah, so we always get the oxtail. She offers different things, uh, different curries, jerk this, curry that, um, different meats, chicken, oxtail, um, then there's vegetarian options. Um, but we always get the oxtail. And we usually get one or two or three plates um, when we walk out. We usually walk out with to-go boxes. <laughs> so... Well. No, when like when we we when she was in the house, oh, we will get enough oh, yeah. to feed feed ourselves for a couple of days. You um, for a couple of days. Me for like three days, and you for a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it was enough to get put back in your lunch. So um, we enjoyed it. Uh, the food was great, um, as always. Um, what do you have to say about? Food. It was good. I normally don't like vegetables, but whenever she makes vegetables, I do. Like, cause it's it, like I don't like things that are close to a salad. And, like the way it's like set up, it's close to a salad, but it was still good. It's the seasoning. Goddamn seasoning. So yeah, she has. Um, it's it's not called mac and cheese. They call it macaroni pie. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, and so when you see that know that that it's like mac and cheese um it's really good though so, um the portion sizes are like i said they're pretty hearty um if you have little kids you could probably get one plate and then feed both kids or two kids off of that one plate um but she takes care of you um the atmosphere was great uh she prides herself on having a family atmosphere so it's you go in and basically nobody's a stranger. It's like you just talk to the person next to you because it's the thing you do. Yeah. Like, there was a, a lady next to us with two little girls, or a little girl and a little boy. We didn't know them, but we, we were talking about hair. We talking about hair. What else were we talking about? I think it was mainly hair because, like, she had this really cool hairstyle. Yeah, she had bon fishtail. Uh, fishtail braid, and I was like, that's kind of hard to do, and we talking tips about how to do fishtail braids didn't know the name the name of that woman but hey we talked <laughs> and so um so it's it's a small enough setting that you can really get intimate with each other and that's kind of what she wants this and i'm i'm hoping that that goes to, so when you go there know that if you're going uh in a rush just place your order to go um because it's going to take you you're going to sit and you're going to talk and chat and it takes a minute it takes a minute to get the food to you um that's a lot of times it's because she's putting she's cooking most of this stuff while she goes um so it's not like it's just sitting back there waiting some of this stuff it's really fresh um it's like um you chew it and you're like burning your mouth as you chew but you can't stop because it's really good <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you let it cool off? It's good. No. It's good. <laughs> so just know, yeah, that it's going to take a little bit of time for the plate to come out, but it's well worth the wait. 
Um, so, um, the pricing is not something that you probably can want to do every day. Um, but it's a great place to go for a girl's night or to take a date. Um, the, uh, well, I don't know about a date. If it's like the first date, then probably not because it, like, I feel like it can get a little messy depending on who you are. And you'd be like, first date, ah, crap, I got something on my white shirt. That is a good point. Date night. How about that? Married couple date night. Yeah, that would work. Because then it's like, it's like you y'all suck with see, me. Yeah, y'all don't see everything. Can't run. <laughs> Ain't no cuteness then, right? <laughs> Can't run. Right. So, um, on a scale of 1 to 10. 10. 10? I like them. But, like, obviously, I already know I'm the nicer one. So, like, like. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I give Mimi's a 10. Bam. I still said it first one's so nicer, but what? you know, <laughs> next time you, got, you gotta go first if you want to be nicer. Okay. Noted. And anyways, my girl has to be higher. You can't go higher than a 10? Technically, there are numbers after 10. But the scale is from 1 to 10. How scale can be broken. Uh oh. Okay, well, break it then. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that being said, everybody, please go out, support Mimi's uh, Caribbean uh, Foods um, in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Um, shout out. Uh, if you do the popsicle sorrel, uh, Mimi, name it after her. <laughs> Call it the bumblebee or something. I don't know. <laughs> but that'd be weird because it'd be purple. purple. Yeah, I know. Anyways. The purple bumblebee? No. That don't work. Purponio. Boo. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Well, wait. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification for our YouTube channel. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Good kids. Bye. Bye. <laughs>